Where did I put that? Okay, jump. Yeah, that works. So I this texture. Go. Horsepower modification. Get this bad boy out of here. Hey guys, it's Eric from Dean in the Garage. Welcome to another episode of Build a Barney, Jeep Just Won't Die. Come to you today, not to show you how to install a spray bottle onto your Jeep, but to show you about the coveted fuel injector upgrade. Now, this works, I'll move this because I'm gonna trip, brake line. Um, now, this injector upgrade will apply for any four liters or 2.5 liters that are from pretty much 87 to 98 and 98, oh, 99 to 2004. There's two different type of injectors you'll need and we'll go through them in the next couple minutes. Now, why do you wanna go with a four port fuel injector or a 12 port? Well, basically the, the old adage is, is that you'll get more atomization out of the fuel coming out of the fuel rail and the injector. So if you look here, it's very hard to tell. It has one hole. This is a old injector from Doug's WJ. And um, we changed out on Willie's to four ports. And I did the same thing to Barney. And that's why it's a build a Barney episode because that was one of the first upgrades I did with Barney. I got my injectors from a U-pull and it was like $35, I think. But anyways, I'm digressing right now. Um, so why do you do it? That's the biggest question. The quickest way for me to show you this is with an example. I have my lovely bottle of spray fluid with some concoction in it. And there's two settings, as you know, in some bottles, a stream and a spray. So let me get my handy dandy torch and show you what the difference is when you upgrade your injector. First, I'll be showing you the example of the single port injector. Not very big, not very big fire, right? Now, I'll show you what happens if you go four port or 12 port. Now, as entertaining as that was, it's a very basic, basic visual of what's actually going on when you upgrade your injector. When you have a four port fuel injector or a 12 port fuel injector, you have more atomization of the fuel and you get the bigger fireball as we had. You'll get more power behind the bigger fireball and get better fuel economy because with this at lower speeds when you're not wide open the throttle, you will need less power to move the car. Simple basic is that. Now, if you want to get into the nerdy stuff of what you actually need to do this upgrade, I will put a screenshot of here of all the cheat sheet of what you can do to do this. There is a Ford fuel injector, which I don't recommend. It takes, it takes you building a connector adapter and it's slightly heavier poundage than I think you really need. <clears throat> but for the basics of it, from any 95 to 97 Dodge Chrysler or Plymouth car with a 2.0 or 2.4 liter motor, you can get the 703 injector from it. Here's the part number you'll be looking for, and that is the basic needs of what is going on for your fuel injector upgrade. These will be the 4.4, the four port fuel injectors, which is the most common to do for a Jeep. There is a 12 port fuel injector upgrade out there. I've only seen it from retailers. I don't know if you can pull it from a car. Um, K Suspension is another great channel. If you guys haven't checked him out, check him out. He does a great job of showing how to install the injector and doing the dyno graphs and doing dyno pulls of all three injectors. Well worth the time. It was like a 10 minute video. Yeah, I would definitely go check him out. Um, but I wanted to give you the down dirty simple of, is it worth it? 100%. Doug put him in his willy. <laughs> no. Doug put it in <laughs> willy, his uh, 1999 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and I put him in Barney. Hence why we're talking about today, to build the Barney episode. I put it in Barney about two years ago. I got more power, better fuel economy, better idle. I don't know if you ever guys listen to a four liter where it kind of has a slight miss at idle. It's, it kind of almost goes away when you put the injector in. I don't know what Chrysler was thinking throwing these little stream injectors in. 
I'm sure it just at the time with the technology we had, it worked. And they didn't change it for 20 years because the fourth year just worked. We all loved it the way it was. That's why we modify things, make them better. So, like I said, you can get any of these 703 injectors from a 95 to 97 Dodge Chrysler Plymouth 2.0 2.4-liter. Look in the yard, you'll find them in Neon, Stratuses, Dodge Caravans, Sirius LX, Sebrings, or Breeze, which is a Plymouth car. Don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> um, to go over some of the numbers, basically anywhere from 87 to a 98 flow anywhere between 18 to 20 pounds of fuel pressure when you go up to a 703 injector and you have anything from a 95 below because you run at 39 psi for pounds of fuel pressure you'll have a 21.5 pound injector in there which is slightly above what you need the computer can control it and not make it such a rich situation and usually i say if you're doing the injector upgrade do the O2 sensor really at it. There's only one or two on there anyway, and it's well worth it. So if you have a 96 to 98, you'll actually end up with a 24 pound injector because you have higher fuel pressure regulator. It'll be at 49 PSI. Now you could also upgrade your fuel pressure regulator if you like when you run these injectors. You can go get the Chrysler part number here or Delphi part number here um, to replace your stock part number here, <laughs> I know guys, I don't, I don't feel like saying the number, so look at the number there when you need it. Um, the stock fuel pressure regular runs at 39 pound, 39 PSI at wide open throttle and 31 at idle. And the new upgraded fuel pressure regular runs at 43 and 40 pounds at idle. So 43 at wide open, 40 at idle. That will get you just a little more rich, a little more fuel in there, but it's really, you're not talking about the fuel because, yeah, you're going to have more pounds per hour. So basically, basically injector is pumping pound, pounds per hour. 24, for an hour, you get 21 pounds of fuel. Simple as that, um, I think. <laughs> but what I really am getting to is that you really want to focus, you'll get more fuel, but you get more atomization of the fuel. You might have a little more fuel in there, but that little fuel will be adjusted because you'll get more power from it. And that's, it, that's where the win is. Don't think about the numbers or what the fuel is. Because overall, most people do upgrades say they love it. I saw miles increases. Doug's we got up to 23 miles per gallon in his WJ. And, it was, and that's still cruising at a high speed. Talking about a WJ, you'll need a different injector. You'll need the 784 injector. Full part number, here. Um, that comes in any 98 to 2001 uh, no, 98 to 2000 Dodge Caravan, 98 to 99 Dodge Neon, and 98 to 2000 Dodge oh, Stratus. So that's where you need to get the WJ injector from. With that, you get pretty much the same poundage and same PSI ratings of the 703. You'll run at 49 PSI. You'll have 22 pounds in the stock injector and at the 784 injector, you'll run 24 pounds at 49 PSI. Down there you go, guys. Down, dirty, and simple of what the fuel injector upgrade is. Now to do it, <coughs> I'm gonna go on a high level view. I got my intake right here. You got four screws for the fuel injector. You're gonna wanna probably not remove the throttle body, but remove the linkage, it'll make it easier. It's all pop clips usually. Take your four bolts out of the fuel injector. Make sure you disconnect and discharge the fuel line. There's usually a Schrader valve here. And you just put a little screwdriver in there. Let the fuel pump, fuel pump out. Let it dry. Don't play around fuel. Wiggle it out real slow. All the injectors will pop out. Once you get the injector out, <coughs> I mentioned before, you're going to want to do new O-rings and new um, screens. So the screen, I believe, is somewhere in here. I think it's... Uh, right here. You're going to do new O-rings and new and new screens. You'll replace them. When you're done replacing them, you want to go put them back in. You're going to want to put Vaseline just around the O-ring and slowly wheel it in. It's going to, the new O-rings will be tight. Just put nice even pressure along all four, um, all four points where the bolts go in. Usually I put two hands like this and just kind of go real slow wiggling in till they seat. You want to make sure they seat fully on both sides of the connector. Now, the reason I recommend 
the 703 and the 784 injector, that they are factory to Chrysler and factory to Jeep. They will have the factory connectors. For the 703s, if you heard me mention before, you'll have an EV1 connector, which is the standard plug for your 90, for your, no, your standard plug to your 87 to 98 4 liter 2 point, or 2.5 liter. So that means your XJs, your TJs, your ZJs, they all have the same connector. Now, the 784 <coughs> will be different. You'll have an EV6 connector, which this is. The EV6 has a slightly different shape, and you can also do an adapter kit if you want to from the EV6 to EV1, which you would need to do for 12 ports, by the way. But I don't recommend it. Just go get the right injector from the right car in the yard. Save yourself a lot of hassle. When you do it this way, it's really easy. All the clips clip in, the lock, pa uh, lock positioning metal clips clip in, and it's literally maybe a 20-minute job. <clears throat> That's really what I wanted to give you from this is that the part numbers, the details on why, some of the fuel, um, fuel numbers, and it's a good visual representation of why you're doing it. There's a big explosion when you have a lot of mist of fuel. There's a small explosion when you have a stream. Oh, this is my third time doing this video because I didn't know how I really want to do it. I think I like that version. So anyways, guys, this is a kind of short sweet episode of doing the fuel injector upgrade on a 4 liter or 2.5 liter, and I highly recommend it. So if you like what you saw, like, leave a like button, comment, subscribe below, hit our Patreon, hit our Facebook, hit up our gear, let us know what you like. I'll talk to you later. Well, you